Okay, let us have a look at the difference between a root, trunk and a ramus. Uh, this is obviously the spinal cord and you are seeing the spinal nerve here emerging from the spinal cord. Okay, but the spinal nerve doesn't emerge directly from the spinal nerve. It is emerged from a ventral root that you are seeing here and a dorsal root that you are seeing here. Okay, the ventral root and the dorsal root are functionally unique. The ventral root is purely motor and the dorsal root is purely sensory. This is known as the bell Magendi law. Okay, now the trunk of the spinal nerve is mixed and the, the dorsal ramus and the ventral ramus of the spinal nerves are also mixed. So it is very important to notice that this aspect of the spinal nerve and its branches are all mixed. Okay, they are all mixed. They will have both sensory and motor uh, functions. You can see that uh, in this picture. You, you just have a look at the ventral ramus here. The ventral ramus you are seeing uh, the red fibers. Red fibers are representative of motor fibers. So you can see that these motor fibers are joining the ventral ramus the sensory fibers are also joining the ventral ramus so the ventral ramus is mixed again the dorsal ramus is also mixed again look have a look this is a red fiber that is emerging from the ventral root it is a motor fiber this is a blue fiber that is coming from the dorsal root that's the sensory fiber so both dorsal ramus and the ventral ramus are both uh, mixed nerves okay that's very important and uh, you can see that difference here you can see this uh, is coming and innervating a muscle but this is coming and innervating the skin over here okay so if you have a lesion of the ventral ramus it will have affliction of both sensory and motor functions thank you